everybody my name is khushboo and today we are going to talk about five mistakes that every beginner made or i made so the first mistake that i think everybody make is ignoring libraries so i have done it a lot and i can't stress this enough that we should not ignore libraries whatever language you are learning it will have some libraries that are formed uh, to help you that have some particular functionalities so that they can make your programming easy when i had started programming i used to ignore libraries having knowledge of libraries can make the stuff so much easier for you so for example in c++ we have the stl and in python maybe we have numpy or collections or maybe functions you should definitely check that out i have also made videos on python libraries you must know and stl you can check them out if you want to and let's move on to the next step so the next point is always looking for the best here yeah. i have done this a lot so when i started my journey what i used to do is i wanted that i learn from the best source so i used to search all these things like best source for learning c++ best resources or best course for c++ best course for learning python it is completely okay to get a good resource but it is also important to get started you don't have to get stuck in that loop of finding the best because we have overwhelming number of resources out there so it is really not possible for us to find the best so for avoiding this what you can do is and what i have done was i just called my three seniors like uh, which i know are good in coding and just ask for their advices like from where i can learn c++ or java what will you suggest and uh, they will tell you some they will tell you some two three uh, resources you can just check them out and get started with whatever you like and uh, don't worry uh, with with each and every topic when you are searching online for like better explanation and uh, you will slowly find the you will slowly find the source that works best for you maybe the teacher that resonates with you or the source from where you can learn easily so the important point is to choose one and get started and then slowly and steadily you will find everything out so let's move on to our third point and the third point is learning without practicing so so what i used to do is i used to take a course or maybe a playlist from youtube which have 40 to 50 videos i used to binge watch them and not applying the stuff and which is really bad because you will not learn very fast if you are not implementing what you are learning so the best way is to learn and implement together and don't do this mistake please because it is really not productive so moving on to our fourth point a fourth point is not taking a break so i'm not saying that take break every 5 minutes but what i'm saying is uh, what i used to do was if i am stuck in a problem i will think that i will go to another task only when i will be able to debug it but that's really not a good way what you should do is if you are uh, you have spent enough time like one or two hours in, on a problem and still you are not getting the error so you should leave it for a while and try to do another task so that you can refresh your mind and i'd like to add that if you are finding it difficult to debug your code what you can do is you can take your uh, friend uh, who don't know how to code or maybe your stuff toy and start explaining every line of code to it so when you are looking at your code and understanding it line by line you will finally be able to understand that oh this is the problem here i missed the semicolon or maybe here i did the type conversion by mistake so this is really helpful technique so you should definitely check this out and other things i would like to add is try to plan your stuff and make goals like you can make your goals weekly or monthly so that when you are feeling lazy there is something that can push you and you can get your stuff done also when you are dealing with a problem and you know a particular way to solve this problem try to think of other ways also try to discuss it with your friends or seniors so that you can get to know other approaches that you can use and the ways you can't think of and that can really help you for other future problems and the last thing i would like to say is try to use words and control you can use github or gitlab you can find your code anytime and also this makes the things you have done accountable so this is a really good thing that a senior told me and i think this will be helpful to you also so i hope this add some value to you thanks for watching and i will see you guys in the next one